the WWE Universal Champion is facing off against a tattletale with tall tales and Cameron Grimes. We'll find out if Stitches gets Stitches. Whatever happens in the ring, Cameron Grimes has it coming. You can't expect to play the locker room king with on and get away with it. You do what you have to do. No matter what happens tonight, Grimes is already a winner in my book. Capo kick connects. Big forearm. Countered it just in time. Looking at worse for wear in the corner now. Down to one knee. What the? One and a half to Gary. What do they have planned here? A shotgun knee strike. Oh, oh. Measuring up their opponent. Oh, and a running knee. And now, gonna talk about it. And Grimes is being controlled here. Cameron's gonna be reaching for the moonshine after the match if this keeps up. Oh, man, what a knockout. Looking for the ripcord. There's the heel kick. Ooh. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Enough already. Grimes' face got the worst of that. He got whipped into that corner. Big strike in the turnbuckle and a kick. Double underhook. They're going to close things off with him. Underhook suplex. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Blast off. Consecutive attacks keeping Grimes off his game. Yeah, Grimes has to consider reassessing his strategy. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Cameron Grimes on the collision course. That's just the technical savage doing what he does best. Doesn't have to be pretty, just effective. I didn't think this match was... Cameron Grimes has his opponent. There's a small package driver. Grimes ending this right there. He's able to fend off the attack. It's a kick! And this has got to be it! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Last shot in. Connor. And Grimes just took a licking there. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Tilt the world, face buster. Oh, here we go. Good night, what a stunner. Might have just silenced Grimes. Listen, champ, I've been thinking. The ring can turn into a right old brawl. Bodies flying and bones cracking. But there's a glimmer of beauty in that chaos. Now, what if we could take all that pain and fury and put it to good use, eh? A charity submission match where the art of the tap-out meets the heart of raising a few quid for those in need. What you say?
Oh my god. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse! <gasps> Can I have your autograph? Hey, Geneva. What brings you to these parts? You finally ditching that indie promotion and hitting the big time? Never! TBD is my home. You know I love the blood, sweat, and tears of the indies. WWE is all gloss and glamour. Seriously? I guess you've missed the last couple years of my run here. Jeez, relax. Somebody's lost their sense of humor since they worked for me. Sorry, I'm just a bit on edge with everything that's been going on. You know, if you want to get some extra work in to prepare for Gunther, we've got a TBD show coming up. And we just so happen to have an opening on the card. It would be nice to get some work in to prepare for Imperium. Alright, I guess I can RSVP yes to TBD. What's the ETA? That's the spirit. I'll send you the details. It'll be good working with you again, Geneva. That was wrestling at its finest. As the person in the ring, I can assure you, it most definitely was not. No need to be salty. This was a great night. You knew that was going to happen with Imperium, didn't you? You set me up. No. And, frankly, I cannot believe after all we've been through you could accuse me of something like that. Set you up? Me working with Imperium? No. Now... Did I think it was a possibility that Imperium could find out you were wrestling for TBD and show up? Yeah. Is that maybe part of the reason I asked you? Sure, but that's not the same thing as setting you up. Look, you got a chance to get work in, and I got a chance to make some dough. So we both win! Did we? I'm starting to remember why I stopped working with you guys. Always looking to make an extra buck. Yeah. Isn't that the whole point? It's a business. And business is going to be good after all the buzz around this. Glad I could help. <laughs> Me too.
bold move, challenging the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. That's who fortune favors, Troy. The bold. I suppose we'll have to see about that. I'm hoping that means you have some good news for me, and Miz has agreed to my request for a match with Gunther. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Miz giving you anything without strings? Could you even imagine? <laughs> no, but I didn't imagine having to deal with you at the airport either. Lucky day for everyone. Gunther could certainly be in the cards, but why rush into it when Miz has so many hand-picked opponents for you? Like Bronson Reed, who you'll be taking on in a non-title match next. You ready to head to the arena? This might be the first time you've ever given me good news, Troy. I can't wait to get Bronson in the ring. My goals reach no higher than the happiness of SmackDown's WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed. You left out a word there, buddy. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion giving a huge opportunity to his opponent tonight. A huge opportunity would be putting the title on the line. That's right. From the top, elbow drop. Good Lord. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Boom. That'll do it. Looking for the ripcord. Oh, man, what a knockout. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. The premier combo. Nicely done. He's positioning himself, closing in. Whoa, just floating through the air. And Reed is now in a demoralizing spot. This is Reed's resolve being challenged. I am on the counter. Bronson showing it's not a time for lying down. It's a time for fighting back. Oh, oh that got turned around. Strike. Measuring up their opponent. Boom! Man, what a knee. And showing off in the end. Climbing to the top rope. To the sky. Moonsault! That was beautiful. This looks like the setup, too. It's Gunther. Oh, man. Here we go. You asked for this, champ. The Dark Horse called out the longest reigning intercontinental champion in history. And the ring general is giving his answer. Gunther getting right in the WWE Universal Champion's face. And our so-called undisputed champs not doing a damn thing about it. Where the hell is he, Troy? Our general manager? He doesn't report to me. Zero interest in small talk, Troy. I want Gunther now. Do you? I mean, he was standing right in front of you and you didn't do anything about it. What are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything, champ. But it's all over social media. I was just reading a post from Roman Reigns that made you look like a joke. All the more reason not to keep stalling. Except there is. Our Intercontinental Champion is very important to the future of SmackDown, and Miz is off making sure that his top superstar is happy. <sighs> what now, Troy? What flaming hoop do I have to jump through for Miz to give me what both of us already want? You will be facing the ring general's top lieutenant, Ludwig Kaiser. If I didn't know any better, I'd say Miz is doing the thing where he tries to wear me down before my next big match. Miz would never. I'm out, Troy. I'll beat Kaiser. Then Miz had better give me Gunther so we can settle this once and for all. 
I find it interesting that Gunther was so quick to confront the champ last week, but now he sends out his flunky to do the fighting for him. That's why he's the ring general and you're not, Saxton. It's called strategy. Gunther does already seem to have the tactical advantage as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is fighting for a chance to face the Intercontinental Champion, which is the opposite of how it usually works. Oh, shotgun knee strike. Ludwig gets out of the way. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Moonsault connects. Cover. Shoulders are down. And he manages to kick out in one. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. And set right into the corner. Shot to the floor. Incoming. Drop kick finds the mark. And Ludwig can't find a way off the blocks. Geyser is being worked on heavily. Blackliner. And gets tossed back into the mat. He's going for it all. Lift off. Jumping, lifting attack. Digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Bam! <laughs> Snap bear over. Not finished yet. That's gotta be it. Two. The champ has proven himself. Imperium attacking the WWE Universal Champion. Did he really think the ring general wouldn't have a plan? This was a trap all along. And the dark horse went right into it. Score one for Gunther. Oh, you look like you've been in a car accident, champ. <laughs> Miz wanted me to extend his deepest sympathies. That's not exactly how he phrased it on social media. I can't believe the flowers haven't arrived already. I'll have to put in a call. I just got the hell beaten out of me, Troy, in another one of Miz's traps. You sure you want to be doing this right now? No, no, I am not. Gunther and his lackeys jumped me. I want to show them why I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, up close and personal. Then you'll be happy to know that Miz has given you exactly what you want. You'll get your wish when you face Imperium next week in a gauntlet match. Or sacred. There won't be any traps tonight. The WWE Universal Champion gets his hands on Imperium one by one. You say that like it's good for the champ, Saxton. How much of him do you think is going to be left by the time he gets to go? The champ has faced down the odds from night one, Corey. That's why they call him the Dark Horse. Into the corner. Toss to the outside. And their night's about to get worse. Drop kick finds the mark. Uh-oh. Clearing the table. They're going to take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Oh, the apron. The hardest part of the ring. After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. Denied with an elbow.
Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. He's out. Giovanni Vinci's taken out of the gauntlet. They are out of here. But we still have two more participants hoping to run the gauntlet. So many WWE careers started on SmackDown. Eddie, Cena, Ray, AJ Styles, the list goes on. Standing shooting star press, incredible. No doubt Ludwig is having trouble here. Yeah, Kaiser really has to show some more resistance. Looking for the ripcord. Capo kick connects. Sent into the corner. A shotgun knee strike. Oh. Measuring up their opponent. Oh, what a running knee. And now, going to talk about it. Top rope. Here we go. There it is. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Whip back into the ring. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Watch out. Showers. Only two competitors left now in this gauntlet. And Who's going to get the glory? Will win the match. Ilya Dragunov. This isn't who we expected. Where the heck is Gunther? Must be another tactical move by the ring general. I love it. Can the dark horse take down the surprise opponent? What's going on? Here? Looking to end this. Now that was a win. And that can keep dragging off down. There's two. Kicks out, just kicked out. The amount of damage dragging off can and will take it. Any given goes into the pin. Two. And still hanging on. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Brought to a disadvantage now. And Dragunov stuck and looking for a solution. And that holds Dragunov back. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Sequence of reversals there. Uh-oh. Look at this. Ouch. Ooh, the premier. Done. And over. Setting up. All the way out. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. There he goes, right into the corner. Incredible. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. The premier combo. Nicely done. Oh, my God. What a kick. Oh, gripping the jaw. Insulting. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Down to one knee, off of the other. One and a Gary.
the middle rope. And that failed to hit the mark. Looking wobbly in the corner. plan has failed. Hang on. Got their front by the line for the Intercontinental title. And the champ is down. It's time for the Age of Imperial. I just got a message from WWE.com. They ran a poll, and the majority of the WWE Universe thinks that it's Gunther's time to rise. Maybe the WWE Universe didn't see me take out two-thirds of Imperium in their hired gun. Or maybe it's that the Age of Imperium has such a nice ring to it. Epic. What do they even call your run, huh? All this time as WWE Universal Champion, has anyone ever actually said it's your era? They don't have to say it. They know. Well, good news. After that gauntlet match, Miz decided that this rivalry has had the proper buildup. So you'll be defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Gunther at Night of Champions in a no disqualification match, just like you wanted. Stacking the deck against me. Must be Friday. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The challenger is a great champion, and he hasn't come alone. Look at the focus on the face of the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history. Listen to the hush in the crowd, Cole. The WWE Universe knows tonight belongs to the ring general. champion walks into the storm alone. The Dark Horse has beaten the odds time and time again. Are you telling the WWE Universe or telling yourself 
I can hear it in your voice, Saxton. You know the undisputed champ's whole house of cards comes crashing down tonight. Everyone's on pins and needles. The WWE Universe knows just how much this title means. I'm calling it now. Tonight is finally the night when we see this fraud of a WWE Universal Championship run come to an end. The champ has stood up against every challenge that has come his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both sound like broken records protecting this guy. History has proven that the Dark Horse can overcome. Not Gunther, not tonight. From the middle rope, breathtaking Hurricane Rana. Right on the mark. That's got to up the champ's confidence. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. He's got one thing on his mind with that chair, and it has nothing to do with lounging. He's heading back to the ring. He's got the chair set up. Oh boy, this is not going to be good. Gunther falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Gunther needs to cause some separation. Oh, what a knee, and now we're gonna talk about it. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Soaring. Oh, moonsault. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. Kick out, and the title fight continues. That is just pure instinct at this point. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Sky high. A diving stop. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Come on. Two. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Jack R. Kendrick. How can this keep happening? How does the WWE Universal 
Universal Champion keeps surviving impossible odds. He just beat the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE.